It's the epitome of automotive excellence, the British-made Rolls-Royce. The car just transcends so many different car groups. No matter where you go and what you do, you drive by in this car, you get a thumbs up. Bud Bowyer of Bethlehem, Connecticut, has owned a 1960 Rolls-Royce Silver Cloud II since 2020. Originally, it was my uncle's from California. He purchased it in the early 80s. His uncle, who passed away at age 93, also owned a 1939 Cadillac, which Bowyer inherited. With his wife Joanne's urging, he purchased the Rolls Royce in what became a package deal. It was a little bit of a surprise. He was getting, you know, uh, a little sickly towards the end, but he had a very good life as a model maker. And um, so what happened is when he did pass away, I was willed the Cadillac because he's had that. He's literally the second owner. I'm the third owner of that 1939 Cadillac but his love was uh, Rolls-Royce. So he ended up purchasing the Rolls-Royce. And then um, we just couldn't stand, as Joanne and I were talking, seeing letting that car go, um, you know, just to anybody else. The right-hand drive Rolls-Royce was one of 2,417 built for the 1960 model year. Rolls-Royce built the Silver Cloud from 1955 through 1966. This is an example of the second generation. It sold new in 1960 in England for nearly $36,000. It's powered by a 6.2 liter V8 engine. Drives like a Rolls-Royce. It's like sitting on a cloud as you're going down the road. Even at this day and age, the first reaction we had when Joanne and I took this car out was, Wow, I can't believe how smooth this thing goes down the road. For a 1960 vehicle, I was expecting to be a little bit more harsher on the road, a little bit more telegraphing of the bumps and the potholes that are around, but it's surprisingly smooth. While the Silver Cloud has crank windows and lacks air conditioning, it does have one nice amenity in the rear of the passenger compartment, fold down trays. It also has some technical advances. There's a lot of unique features that go along with this vehicle. One is the brake system is actually linked in with the transmission. Um, second is it uses a very unique brake fluid of a mineral oil based, which is quite pricey when you got to purchase it. They actually have a switch for active suspension um, that you can move to go from, let's say, a more sportier mode to a more plush mode which, you know, reflects in, in the drivability of the vehicle. One of the other things is it's really surprising is that the transmission is really a GM sourced Turbo 400 that's modified for Rolls-Royce use. Bollier has freshened the Silver Cloud since getting it. You know, I do all my own service here and there's a good network of, of online retailers that I can get a lot of the parts and supplies that I need for it. And he has given it a new black paint job. Well, when I got it, I stripped the whole thing down to bare metal, which is the other surprising thing is there's a lot of aluminum panels on this vehicle. Hood, doors, trunk are all aluminum. Okay, so that just leaves the roof, the fenders, and the quarter panels as steel, uh, which I was surprised at. The Silver Cloud doesn't get that much use. I try and take it out on date night with Joanne and I and things of that nature. And we've gone out and we've gone, you know, wineries, we've gone to different weddings with it. When it's taken out, though, the Rolls Royce has proven to be a draw. No matter where you go from the... Uh, you know, cheesiest little dive bar, which we've been to, uh, you know, and, and you just draw a really great crowd. That's Ride Connecticut. I'm Bud Wilkinson. And if you enjoyed this story, please subscribe to Ride Connecticut's YouTube channel.